do we need to think about a situation in order to get in contact with the feelings associated with that situation? Well, it's interesting the words chosen in this question. The, question, the words chosen is, do we need to think about a situation yes. in order to get in contact with the feelings of the situation? Now, if we had changed those words to, if we want to feel about the situation, we will get in <laughs> to feeling the feelings about the situation. You see, you see, the whole concept of needing to do something yep. is usually driven by an underlying desire that you don't really want <laughs> to do it, but right. you feel that you have to. That you must. You fact. feel you must. Yep. So yes, the answer to this question is yes, of course. You do need to think about a situation in order to get in contact with the feelings about the situation. Because if you don't think about the situation, yes. if you don't want to think about the situation, you will already be in denial emotionally of the situation and therefore unable to feel the feelings associated with the situation. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that you're saying the fact that we're not already thinking about it means that we want to suppress it. Correct. Yep. And, we're and even asking ourselves the question, do I need to mm -hmm. do something, is telling me that I don't want to. Yes, I see what you're right? saying. Yeah. And what I'm saying to people is that unless you want to feel about a situation, you will not think about the situation. <laughs> it's all very <laughs> intellectual. Um, what about times when you know you just have a feeling, mm -hmm. you, you attract something and you find yourself grieving or shaking or, or whatever, you're having an emotional response that's yes. obviously related to a situation that's not the one in front of you. No, but the one in front of you has triggered you. Yes. So you're thinking about that situation. You're allowing the thought of that situation. Okay, yes. You see, see what I'm saying? saying yes. so, so a person starts feeling when they allow the thought of a situation. Unfortunately, most of the time, they only allow the thought of the current situation, yeah. the one that's triggered them. Yeah. They don't allow the thought of all the situations in their history yeah. that have triggered the same emotion yeah. that they stored. Yeah. So this is part of our problem. And the reason why they don't allow the thought of all of these situations in the past that have triggered this same emotion is because they don't want to. Mm -hmm. So yes, they need to, mm -hmm. but they don't want to. So mm -hmm. needing to doesn't help you. No. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to the point where you want to, yeah. where you want to feel about the situations and want to think about them. So in other words, many of us have many childhood situations that we want to forget. We do need to remember them, mm -hmm. but we want to forget them. So what's going to happen? We're going to forget them. Yeah. And until such a point in time that we want to remember them, yeah. that will remain. Now, the law of attraction is going to bring us events that cause us to trigger the memory of those situations. So in other words, there'll be something that happens in the current day which will cause us to remember a similar situation that happened in our past. Mm -hmm. But if I want to forget it, obviously I will not get to it. Yeah. And, I, and so, yes, you do need to, but the real question is not, should I need to? It's, I need to know how to want to. Yeah. How do I, how do I change the want to? That's the real question. Because we've spoken in other discussions recently about how the... Thought, thoughts are driven by emotions. So mm. if we're not naturally thinking about something or if we're invested in avoiding thinking of something, then there's an emotion... Saying, I don't want to Saying, think I don't want to. So that's what you're saying we need to deal with. Correct. Yep. So, so rather than worrying about whether I need to think about something, mm -hmm. I need to ask myself the question, why don't I want to think about it? And that would be more productive. The mm. problem with asking or telling myself that I need to do something is quite often all that does is remind me of how resistive I am to doing <laughs> this. <laughs> and feel like it's a duty. And, and feel like it's a duty. Yeah. And then just feel really blur. Yeah, yeah, and feel like someone else is manipulating you and controlling you. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, often it's your own definitions of what's right and wrong, manipulating, controlling you, but you feel like you have to do something when you don't really want to do it. It's a bit, it's a li it's a bit like a man, you, you, you know, you, you often hear of these situations where the man's walking down the street and he checks out a woman, even though he's walking alongside his wife, right? And he's mm -hmm. checking out another woman. Well, he wants to. Now, he might think, oh, it's terrible I did that. I need to change. 
Yeah. But does he want to? And if he really wants to, he'll find out why he does why that. Why he did it. Yeah. What, what inside of him causes him to feel drawn to do that. Yeah. He'll want to do that. Yeah. So he'll want to think about those situations. He won't feel that he has to. Mm -hmm. He won't feel like he needs to. He'll feel like he wants to. Yeah. And this is what we need to do in all these things. When we go, I need to, we're not really changing anything in our soul. Mm. Once we start feeling like we want to, and not telling ourselves we want to, but feeling like we want to, things change very rapidly. Yeah. And this is the main reason why most people don't change, is because they're trying to do the need, what they think they need to do, but they're not working on why they don't want to do it. Yeah. And what I suggest to people instead, work on why you don't want to do the right thing. Yeah. Work on why you don't want to love why you don't want to give love, why you don't want to receive it, why you don't want to hear the truth, why you don't want to tell the truth. Work on why you don't want to be humble to your emotions and why you don't want to let other be people be humble to theirs. Mm -hmm. Work on that. Because when you work on why you don't want to, you will eventually want to. Yeah. And then when you want to, things will change. But if you keep telling yourself, I have to or I need to, nothing will change. Mm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks.